I just figured out what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. I'm moving to Portland and I'm gonna dance in marriage proposal music videos. <laughs> I am, I am 26, I am young, I am wise, I am an adventurer, I am a brand and culture specialist, I am co-founder of Blow Blow Dry Bar, I'm a friend, I'm a daughter, I'm a girlfriend, I'm a human being, I'm tender, I'm tough, I'm doing my best, I am. I am a victim of rape and abuse. When I was 18, I was raped by a friend, somebody that I trusted, somebody I trusted deeply. And then a few years later, in a totally unrelated incident, when I was living in London going to university, just after we had launched Blow, a man that I had dated for a few years, for a few months, the year before, he broke into my apartment, he barricaded the entrance and exit points in my apartment. He took the SIM card out of my phone and put it in his mouth so I couldn't call the police. He held me against my will for almost six hours and continued to attack me. He took my hair and shoved my face into the ground and he told me to write my last words to my family. He said that if he couldn't have me, nobody could. I thought I was going to die that night. Interpersonal trauma changes how you feel about humanity. And all that I am is my human condition. It is how I experience life. All that I am is my human condition and it is how I experience my life. And what I can share with you in just a few minutes about my journey, sex. There's lots of sex in my life. Good sex, bad sex. Sex I didn't want, sex I did want, sex. No princess, but sex. <laughs> What I've learned is that there are two kinds of sex. Only two kinds. There is sex you want to have, and there is sex you don't want to have. And you know what? It's not enjoyable when you don't want to do it. And when you are forced to have any kind of sex, it changes how you feel about it. And therein lies a challenge because we live in a pretty sexual world. And you know what, that's okay because we're sexual beings. But we're always talking about one kind of sex. The sex we wanna have. But there's a lot of sex going on in the world that we don't wanna have. Sex that is forced. Sex we don't want to have. And when we talk about it, in the world and when we talk about it with kids. We're so concerned, you know, with kids and teenagers about the sex that they want. Wrap it up! Don't have the sex that you want, wait! We're not talking to them about the sex that they might not want to have. Children and teenagers account for the largest percent of sexual abuse victims globally, and most assaults occur in a private home. Friends, family, and acquaintances commit more than half of assaults and rapes 
among both men and women. We are not having the conversations we think we're having about sex. The only sex I want in the world is sex we want to have. That's the only sex I want in the world. That's the only sex I want for all of you. I'm practicing sex I want to have right now, and let me tell you, it's amazing. <laughs> sex with love and communication. Communication. I am truly a person who downloads my stream of consciousness. I'm a talker. And we're all talking all the time, all the time. We're having conversations about everything from the time we wake up till the time we go to bed and sometimes in our sleep. But the stuff we really need to talk about, it is uncomfortable. It takes tremendous thoughtfulness. It is tough. It is absolutely essential to the growth of us as individuals, as human beings. If you're not having uncomfortable conversations once in a while, if you're not having deep, meaningful, uncomfortable conversations in a while, you're not communicating. You're not communicating. You're not getting anywhere with your communication that's worth going. What we are going to talk about, we must be prepared to feel. What we are going to talk about, we must be prepared to feel. And I've had lots of tough conversations. <laughs> I've had to call my mom and say, Mom, I'm coming home. My friend raped me. I had to call her again a couple years later and say, Mom, something not very good happened last night. And the man who broke into my apartment is arrested. I've had to have intense conversations with my co-founders of Blow, my mom, Judy Brooks, and my business partner, Val Litwin, about my PTSD and the stress and the anxiety that I had as a result and what I could and what I could not do and my capacity. I've had to have lots of tough conversations. And what I learned about all of these conversations is that every day we have to wake up and we have to set the intent to communicate clearly and transparently and with honesty every day. We have to approach communication through love. Love, what I've learned about love. When you're young, you think it's passion, you think it's big, and you think it's grand, you think love is huge. But what my stepdad, Dennis, doesn't know that he's taught me is that love is small, it is steady, it is continuous. He's always been there, a rock, always steady, unshakable. That is love. Love is not loud, it is not gifts, and although I like gifts, it is not gifts. Pure love is the most difficult. When I called my mom after the man forced his way into my apartment and said, Mom, I'm broken and I'm sad and I don't know what I'm gonna do but you can't come here right now because I need to be strong on my own. And she went against every bone in her body that wanted to come to London and be there for her daughter and love her daughter. She gave me pure love in that moment because she respected what I needed. That is pure love. Life is messy. And when things go wrong, and when terrible things happen, they will happen. And you are searching high and low, and you are looking everywhere to everyone for answers. Remember, you, you are the love 
you've been looking for. It isn't anywhere else first, but within you. We only get one chance in this vessel. We only get one chance at our human experience. And what I will for you, what I will for you is what I will for myself. To be considerate, to be a part of what is required to have a world full of great love, great communication, and especially great sex. Thank you.